The idea of introducing cooperative insurance in Kenya was first discussed in the late 1960s. These discussions bore fruit in 1972 with the formation of Kenya's Insurance Agency. In 1975, the Cooperative Insurance Society of Kenya was born and was housed at Wakulima House in Nairobi. In 1978, the society was incorporated, licensed and renamed to Cooperative Insurance Services. In the ever-changing spirit of evolution, CIS in 1999 rebranded itself one more time to the Cooperative Insurance Company of Kenya, CIC Limited, and in 2011, the Cooperative Insurance Group Limited. From humble beginnings of just four staff members some 34 years ago, now stands an insurance company that brags over 250 staff and sits as the second largest in the country. Plus, is the leading cooperative insurer in Africa. Even as we are an insurance company, um, I always say that we are first and foremost a cooperative organization. And that is uh, our heritage, that is our foundation, and uh, that's why even our success in our real business of insurance uh, emanates from. We've been able to capture um, a large part of the market. In fact, we've had We've been able to increase our market share uh, from about 3% to slightly over 6%. The company with the largest share is about 8 going to 9%. So when you have 6%, it's quite, uh, it is quite significant. Uh, as we speak today, we are the second largest underwriter in terms of market share. But in terms of touching people's lives, I want to believe that we are number one. The assets have grown tremendously by 445% from uh, in 2007 from 2.2 billion to current position of 12 billion. That means in a span of five years, our total assets have grown by more than 400%. Our profits uh, grew from 140 million in 2007 to 605 million in 2010 and uh, in 2011, there was a growth of 30% from uh, uh, 605 to 787 uh, million. That tells you about the quality of the company and the financial strength of the company. That's the CIC Insurance Group. So for us it has taken time, um, it's, it's not an overnight success story, it has taken hard work, it has taken a lot of planning and it has taken everybody in the company. There is an element of culture. The culture of CIC is such that everybody is so hard working and is aware of where we are and where we want to go. The way we look at working with people and alleviating the principles of why CIC was formed and how CIC is working with different communities is just very heartwarming. People are the shareholders, people are the workers, people are the customers. And when you focus on the people and their needs, you can't go wrong. It makes I am a person, I am not just a number. And we've always had this campaign that we are very happy when we are collecting premiums, we are equally happy when we are paying claims. There is a lot more to business than just making money. Sometimes insurance companies are accused of looking at the bottom, you know, at the small print. That is not with us. And that is why, for instance, after the, the political violence beginning of 2008, this aspect of uh, covers for political risks were not there. We did engage our insurers because we had to have an agreement with our insurers and we told them that, in our opinion, those claims were admissible. The moment of truth came. Why are we going to turn our back to the same people who have been trying to uplift themselves just because of certain policy conditions? So for us at CIC, I saw that as a moment of making a change in people's perception about insurance. Every client in our books 
who was in one way or the other affected by post-election, whether it's motor vehicle, the buildings, or whatever. We paid them 100%. And we actually paid uh, claims amounting to about 100 million to 400, nearly 400 people. From the beginning, CIC said we are going to make ourselves different in terms of customer service. And that is best captured in our customer value proposition. So we work um, on three pillars. One, to increase our market share, increase our premium income. At the same time, quite conscious of our bottom line, that is profitability. Third pillar is service excellence. And to me, that's probably the most important. The public out there have actually recognized us as a trusted partner and they can walk into our company and they feel safe because they, they know that we keep our word, that's our philosophy, and whatever we, we promise, we deliver. In this company, we offer financial advice to potential investors to not only look at insurance uh, where they are, you protect your wealth. With the asset management, we are there to guide customers on how to create wealth and pres preserve their capital. The best marketing starts with educating the customer and when you have an educated you have a, an educated customer you have a customer for life because by the time the customer makes the choice it is an informed choice and you can rest assured that you'll have that customer for as long as you are in business in keeping step with our heritage we are asking you to join us in this great journey as we now go list at the Nairobi Security Exchange. We believe in sharing our success as we further dig deeper to reach our full potential. On the 18th of July, this great journey will be realized. I believe on the 18th when we list on the Nairobi Securities Exchange, the people who have invested in this company will be able to realize the value of the investment, which has grown over time. And um, I believe this is an opportunity also to share the value. So even those uh, growth rates that we have experienced lately of uh, 2010, 58% in terms of our premium income, 48% in 2011 in terms of our revenue. I mean, that to me, when I look at the whole framework of the corporate movement in Kenya, it's not something that uh, really we would say that we have done our best. Uh, to me, that has been a good effort. The way we're listening is that when people first got the shares, most of the shareholders, individual shareholders, were uh, corporators. So this is a way that they can unlock their potential. And CIC has value. The company, as what we're bringing into the listening, has value. It will grow. So we are looking to now reach out to not just the cooperatives, but all Kenyans. We attribute our success to the general public. We want the general public to, to share in our fortunes. And that's actually the main driver towards our need for this team. We want the general public to benefit from what they have created in terms of the CIC Insurance Group. When you are quoted in the stock exchange, um, I think it's, it's testimony of the confidence that um, you have in the organization. Over and above that, you can be assured every year the company is going to declare the dividend, a dividend as a result of uh, the performance and uh, that goes beyond uh, the expectation that uh, at one point in time you may not be paid a dividend. CIC is working with Kenyans. CIC keep their word. CIC is a household name. So if you, if you do not buy shares at CIC, you lose out. So why not buy CIC? And I have no doubt in my mind that within a few years, CIC will be at the very top of the insurance market in Kenya and the region. We